what's up my crazy subscribers, this is Joe Kinjals before here bringing you guys more Madden 15 Ultimate Team and also this is my first playoff game of Season 3. And by the way, I did end up getting the first round by so I'm actually into the second round. Now before we start talking about the gameplay guys and start explaining to you guys why this was a shootout game, I would like to talk about Season 3. Season 3 was just a major improvement for my offense. Defense was okay, you know, they did some great stuff too, but my offense, if you look into every single game, Doug Martin committed over 80 plus yards per game. If not, with a combination of Marshall and Lynch, together that will make at least 140 yards per game. So, it was just an incredible season for my offense. The running game was just, just too strong this season. And if you guys want to see that, go back into my gameplays. You'll be able to see like some stuff where Doug Martin and Marshall and Lynch just committing into the run. It was just insane, man. So my tip to you guys, start increasing those skills because it's going to help you out. All right? Don't don't be buying whatever player that's out there that's pretty much good in overall. No, like start buying skilled players. Like they have the same amount of skill, and um, you know, ground and pound, short pass, buy them as all as one, so they can act as one in offense or in defense. So that's my tip to you guys. So, anyways, why was this a shootout? Well, for the next two minutes, guys, there's gonna be 28 points scored combined. So keep your eyes open, guys. So right here, my opponent runs it all the way, 40 plus yards for a touchdown with number 22. Ended up back in offense after he scored. Lob it to Demarius Thomas after he pressed the defense down. And knowing how Demarius Thomas has 93 release, he can be pressed sometimes. So I send him into the streak. Takes it all the way for 70 plus yards of a touchdown. Nice play by Demarius Thomas. Now watch the kickoff. Force fumble by 80 overall Stevie Brown from Deshaun Jackson. It was just insane tackle right there. It was just a big hit. A major big hit. Back in offense, play action roll out to the right side. Jamichael Finley open going across. Good touchdown by Jamichael Finley. My opponent ends up lobbing it to T.Y. Hilton. Throws it over Antonio Komari. How is that even possible? So those were the most exciting 28 points to see of the game, guys. But anyways, going back into Antonio Komari versus T.Y. Hilton, how the heck is that even possible? The stupid animation that EA has on that fucking cornerback is just fucking sucks. How the hell did that happen? Seriously, it really pissed me off after that freaking play. I was like, what the fuck, EA? Like, seriously, you're gonna screw me over like this? It shouldn't happen, guys. That should have been a pick or a deflection. The reason why I didn't want to play, didn't want to press R1 or L1 to deflect the pass is because it doesn't do the animation sometimes. So that's why I pressed triangle and tried to intercept the ball, but it didn't happen. And instead, that thing happened, that's why he caught it. That's what pisses me off about that play, because T.Y. Hilton is 5'10", while Antonio Cromartie is 6'2". So anyways, after scoring 21-14, you know, back on defense, pretty much uh, his offense consisted of spread offense, going everything out, calling everything out, and tried to uh, put the freaking luck on T.Y. Hilton, and again, you know, he tries to lob it over there, and it doesn't happen. That's what should have happened in the first place, but it didn't happen. Anyways, nice force fumble by Terrell Suggs. Pretty much clutch right there for Terrell Suggs. You know, nice play, man. <laughs> Ryan Tannehill tries to break the tackle right there. Nice one, but nobody catches the damn ball. Uh, he actually pulled out a 3 and out because I just couldn't run the ball. That's another thing, guys. My opponent actually stopped the run. This is the first ever in a while that my opponent stops the run. I, I mean, I had like a whole chain going on, but, you know, this, this guy actually stopped it. So anyways, back on defense, force fumble by Luke Kickley, and I take it all the way with defensive end Jadavian Clowney. And pretty much my opponent got so mad that he ended up quitting. Your peer has quit the game. So there it is guys, I ended up winning my first playoff game and uh, of season 3. Hell of a game, hell of a shootout, but I don't understand this, why did he quit? It was 30-14, to 14. he can still do it man. If he managed to burn Antonio Camardi, he can do anything he wants man. But instead, he ends up quitting. Yeah, I would give up too, but you know, if my guys fumbled all the goddamn time and nobody was goddamn open. But damn, you know. Anyways, hell of a game. There's gonna be another game coming up, guys. Second playoff game. Hopefully, this one goes good. Uh, hopefully, I can keep whooping some ass, you know. But this time, I really want to run the ball. This time, in this game, I didn't run the ball for shit. He ended up stopping me a few times. The only way I scored is because I forced fumbles and I was close to the goal line and shit. So. Yeah, this game for sure, the next one's going to be tougher. 
So anyways, if you guys want to see more Madden 15 Ultimate Team, make sure you subscribe for more. And also, if you guys like the series, make sure you leave a like. So anyways, I'll see you guys later, and enjoy your day.